When there's a problem, people count on us. We do the best we can, but money's always tight. It got to the point where we didn't know if we'd be able to make it to the next fire. Then we got this from the Cherokee Nation. They took the lead in donating hundreds of thousands of dollars to small fire departments across Oklahoma. Now when people call, we know we can answer. Cherokee Nation, common values, common ground. When our wells went bad, we had to truck in water. The Cherokee Nation heard we didn't have a working water system. Well, they took the lead. They sent equipment, tools, parts, pipe. We supplied the labor, even though not all of us in town are Cherokee. So after a lot of hard work and help from the nation, we have clean, fresh water again. Want to buy a truck? Cherokee Nation, common values, common ground. Can a bridge give you more time with your children? It did for me. When they closed my bridge, it took me an extra hour to get to and from work. Then someone stepped in to take charge. That someone was the Cherokee Nation. They donated money, worked with the county, and got my bridge repaired. They got me more time with my children. You can't put a price on that. Cherokee Nation, common values, common ground. I never saw it coming, but it took me out good. I didn't want to stay at home, I wanted to work. The Cherokee Nation paid to get my shoulder fixed and got me into physical therapy. It hardly cost me a thing, and it didn't cost the state a thing either. The Cherokee Nation took the lead, and now I'm back at work, right where I belong. Good to see you back. Cherokee Nation, common values, common ground. School budgets are tight, so we use bake sales to raise money for computers, art supplies, whatever. But we're not alone. Every year, the Cherokee Nation takes the lead by giving schools a percentage of their car tag fees. Since the program started, public schools in Oklahoma have received nearly $7 million, money we can use for all our students. It's like having a really big bake sale without all the baking. Cherokee Nation, common values, common ground. Oklahoma's Indian nations are still making history. Today, Indian nations are the fourth largest employer in Oklahoma, creating over 15,000 jobs. That's more jobs than Phillips, Southwestern Bell, and the Williams companies combined. Oklahoma tribes generate millions of dollars in tax revenue and help pay for schools, hospitals, roads, and housing across the state. Indian nations in Oklahoma, common values, common ground. The day will soon come when you will unite yourselves with us. Join in our great councils and form one people with us, and we shall all be Americans. You will mix with us by marriage. Your blood will run in our veins and will spread with us over this great continent.
Is it supposed that the wandering savage has a stronger attachment to his home than the settled, civilized Christian? Is it more afflicting to him to leave the graves of his fathers than it is to our brothers and children? Our children, by thousands, yearly leave the land of their birth to seek new homes in distant regions. Does humanity weep at these painful separations? Far from it. It is rather a source of joy that our country affords scope. Nothing pierces the heart like the loss of hope. And rarely in our nation's past was hope in such short supply as it was in Cherokee country in the 1830s. Thousands of Indians snatched from their homes forcibly marched some 800 miles to an unknown place so that their property, their sacred homeland, could be taken over by white Americans. It was an odd kind of murder, the killing of hope. It is forever known as the Trail of Tears. Sawu e ga dan ten. E di yan we yan. A le e long we tri. On ska ni ga. Det det där då ska. A han ni han ha win ga to. Wuni lors a gon ye u dan ha a sky kanad to do it. A le a gon ye u dan ha a ge se lu to do it. On ska ni ga. E ga ne sla na han. Plan a long hair, you can dinner the yik. Garden. A le, a le eat us of the yik. A skinny go to gain. I say no. No de land of canoes to need all. You want this at ten gain, President Andrew Jackson. Worst of all, the Bureau of Indian Affairs committed these acts against the children entrusted to its boarding schools, brutalizing them emotionally, psychologically, physically, and spiritually. So many of the maladies suffered today in Indian country result from the failures of this agency. Poverty, ignorance, and disease have been the product of this agency's work. And so today I stand before you as the leader of an institution that in the past has committed acts so terrible that they infect, diminish, and destroy the lives of Indian people decades later, generations later. These things occurred despite the efforts of many good people with good hearts who sought to prevent them. These wrongs must be acknowledged if the healing is to begin. Kevin Gover, Assistant Secretary, Indian Affairs Department of the Interior. We should be proud of who we are. We should be proud of our heritage. But when you have a, a generation before you that doesn't, first of all, doesn't know their heritage, so how can they hand it down? They don't know their family, so how can you be proud of something they don't even know about? And then when things are kept secret, when, oh, this, is, this is real touchy. This is real touch. It's a complicated story. It's one that, that, that people need to, um, Americans need to be told. Because I think most Americans have no, no idea at all about the boarding schools. They wanted to wipe out the Indian, so they took me away from my grandpa and to wipe my native tongue and Native w ways. I'd love to know what did the schools do to kids that, that you, you, we, we were warned. This is our generation. We were warned. Don't go looking. Don't look up anything. I think they thought they were doing something noble. I didn't agree with them. The indigenous peoples of this land have always presented a problem to white mainstream America. Our very identities as Native people was what 
the problem was perceived as. We were told not to go into our family history. We were told not to go looking. My mother said, oh, I can't, I can't, that's, that's it, I can't talk about my mother. She won't, she, she said, don't go looking. She said, don't go looking. We have lost so much. When we talk to our spirits, they don't understand English.